Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. I'm hopefully a bit to uh, hear me. It's not even particularly easy to film with the sunlight shining in the wrong direction at the moment, but I'm just going to do a quick repotting of my red strawberry guava, or what is allegedly a red strawberry guava. It might turn out to be a purple forest guava, I'm not 100% sure, because I've got an inkling that canarius may possibly have mixed up their plants that are nursery because I do know they do a purple forest guava as well but it's labelled as except I can't even get the label out let's see if I can get this extracted I got this in uh, late summer 2018 the label's broken on it but it's not a real problem Ah, yeah, it just says strawberry guava, Pisidium cattleyanum, and it was August 2018. So what I've decided to do is to slightly repot it from this size pot and go up a size to this one here. I don't want to go too big because it's going to be just too heavy to move the plant. Now it's been in my kitchen over winter and has suffered uh, a fair bit of... Uh, die back in places um, a lot of these lower stems lost all their leaves totally so I shall take the opportunity what I'm going to do is cut out any particular thin wispy branches that are going in uh, a particularly awkward direction take the opportunity to untangle it because it has got, it's got branches here that absolutely totally not growing where they're supposed to be growing so I'll take the opportunity to remove any um, dead growth, which just appears to be all the way back to the main branch. And I'm going to trim the edges, the ends of some of these branches. I'd like it to be a little bit shorter, but I don't want it ridiculously wide either. So um, it's just a case of uh, perhaps taking back the tips of some of the branches to include to encourage a little bit of sideways branching. Uh, the downside is I don't want to go back so much that I lose, I don't particularly want to lose all the flowers that are starting to develop on it. So I'll just take the opportunity to get rid of any dead growth. It doesn't seem to have any pests on it since it's been outside. So I don't think there's any need to worry about um, any pest problems. And what I'm gonna do is take the opportunity to strain it a little bit in the pot as well because it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit lopsided um, I think it originally didn't get uh, it wasn't allowed to stay particularly upright in the pot so I'll take the opportunity to remove some of these little bamboo canes that it's got in it and allow it to lean in whichever direction it prefers to lean in but I'll use the opportunity to strain it up in the uh, pot a little bit and any branches that are particularly badly crossing I think I'll remove those as well now it, uh, what I'm trying to do is put it into a slightly lighter mix let me just uh, get this um, I'm not going to take any of the old soil off but the plant's getting very heavy to move so I'm switching it to a perlite, mostly perlite and orchid bark mix with some regular compost mixed in, a little bit of feed in the hope that that will allow it to, um, me to still move it. It's got roots coming out the bottom of the pot so I do know that it's pot bound. Um, so what we'll probably try and do is lift it out of the pot and uh, have a look at the root system if I can manage to lift it without rupturing myself. Right, let's see. The problem is some of the roots have come out of the bottom of the pot, so yeah, nicely rooted. No real problems in there, roots all look healthy. As you can see they're coming out the bottom. So I will take the opportunity. I'm gonna try and strain it up a little bit in this new pot. Sorry if I'm obscuring myself, you don't need to see me anyway. And I'm going to put some more 
compost it in the bottom just to hold it. I mean, not that it's going to fall over, but I'd just like to get it sitting a little bit straighter so I don't need any bamboo canes in it whatsoever. Right, let's just see if we can fill in the gaps around the sides a little bit. Like a lot of tropicals, they tend to have some feed roots on the. Uh, they do seem to have some feed roots on the surface. So all I'll be doing is top dressing with a little bit of um, <coughs> compost. Let's move this to one side a bit now, so I can make sure it's straight. We should hopefully get fruits on this again this year. And what I'm trying to do is just boost the growth a bit so that I get fruits that are a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's going to be successful because it may well be that this particular, especially if this is seed grown, this, this particular variant might have small fruits. So even in cherry guavas, they vary quite a lot from plant to plant, especially if grown from seed. You can't buy name varieties, well, you certainly can't name variety, buy name varieties uh, easily in Europe or in the UK, so it's just pot luck what you may or may not uh, get when it turns up. shake and tap to settle it. It's nice and straight now. That's job done there. I'm happy about that. I'll uh, probably move it out to my lawn so that I can give it a good water and then I'll uh, remove any more growth that needs trimming back just to make it a little bit bushier and any stuff that's a little bit on the thin side or falling over and not, uh, not growing where it needs to be growing. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Much appreciate it. I hope you could see some of what I was doing and it wasn't too uh, too boring or monotonous so that's my red strawberry guava or possibly purple forest guava don't know 100% for sure I'm going to take the top off it as well and cut the side branches back a little bit at the top just so it fills out again over summer and uh, no doubt in about a month's time it will produce lots of flower buds as well thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up uh, please do remember to uh, share the video if you think anybody might be interested in this particular plant um, of course I'd love you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already it doesn't cost anything and click on the bell if you'd like updates on my uh, other plants and know when new videos come out I'll catch up with you all soon Brett out for now